Hi, I'm Eric DeMatt, and welcome to Let's Play The Mummy Returns to the PS... PSP? PS2. We're gonna start a new game, but this time we're gonna be Imhotep. Six thousand years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Amshir, the sacred desert. On death's door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the desert god, Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on earth could stop the supernatural That's where warriors, aliens came in. and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis was returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Bum, bum, bum. Ages have passed from that year to this. The year of the Scorpion. In this one year of the millennia, the army of Anubis can return to ravage the earth like a lethal plague. If the evil sorcerer Imhotep has his way, having uncovered the corpse of the mummy in the desert sands, a dark order now works to revive the only being mighty enough to overthrow the Scorpion King, claim the army of Anubis, and go on to rule the world in darkness. May the gods help us. The mummy returns. Hi. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> rise up, rise up, rise up. Thank you, my servants. Your master has awoken. Ah, oh, you carry a heavy curse with you, my lord. The Pharaoh and the ancient gods are not pleased. They have many powers that can stand in our way and keep us from our quest. The gods of the Nile must be appeased. We have brought these sacred statues here so that you can try to make atonement to the ancient gods. The ancient gods like that. Four offering stones have been hidden throughout the museum. Return the stones to the statues. If your offering is accepted, the gods will bless and make a gift to you in return. Ah, <sighs> your magic is growing stronger with every passing moment, Lord Imhotep. But the strength of your powers drains your own life force, my lord. The curator tells me there must be at least three canopic jars within this very museum. I fear you will not be able to survive long without retrieving them. The jars will help you increase in health, which will allow you to expand your growing powers and cast more powerful spells. But better yet, some of the jars have been known to contain spells. You cannot regenerate your mortal body without the souls of the living, my lord. Fitting. If you suck the souls of the living, you will be able to enhance your powers and your strength. Here, yeah. try a guard or two. I'm sure they're delicious. You can suck the life force from human beings to restore your own strength and power. If you beat a human into submission, they will become stunned and powerless. Only then will you be able to steal their life force. Let me show you the ancient spell. Topic Jar Soul Silk. Before we do that though, we're gonna walk, we're gonna explore a bit and find, get that other Canopic Jar that was over there. This is different. We uh, don't have guns in this version. We don't need them, we're in Hotep. We, um, as we 
get damage and then heal, we uh, go to various forms of the mummy. Example of right now, if we... Don't do that. If we drain this guy's soul, you'll see... We're slightly healed, more human healing. You, I were pretty much human now. Uh, Mila, by the way, sounds like she's voiced by Jennifer Hale, and we sound like we're voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson. So controls are pretty much the same as Rick. They're evil controls now. This guy does nothing. He's, uh, interestingly, the same actor who... Well, the character in the movie. Same actor who played the, um... The, uh, the Cardinal in Van Helsing. Into the museum to find magic stone now. Oh. Really? Ah, oh, damn it, we need to kill him. I want to eat him. Fighting style is different than Rex. We, can, we tend to want to slap people. Don't do that again. I know it's animal. Oh, these people are squishy. It's nice to be on this side of the muse of a museum attack in a video game. No, he's not getting up. Ooh, a massa sword.
blow the whole thing, see if we can find ourselves a stone. There's no reason not to just drain people's souls in this level. Guards. Hello, gentlemen. I don't know why this feels more fun than being wrecked. It just really does. Probably because it's fun to be the bad guy sometimes. Spells that aren't soul suck do run on energy, like on our life energy, so wasting them is not really a good idea. Too good at murdering these uh, security guards, aren't we? was one of the legacy of canes a while ago. Rise, cat creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
You gotta do that to get the Horus offering. backwards, aren't we? Come, my new servant. Let us wreak havoc together. Two offerings, let's give them. Let's give them over. We have an offering for Horus. Horus is this one. Here you go. a power amulet, which is a gift of regeneration from the gods. I don't know if that's a consumable, so I won't try to use it. Offering for Anubis. A spell which temporarily confers enormous strength on the user. Let's go find more stuff. I mean, we're pretty much chilling in the base of the British Museum anyway. So. behind me. Rise from your graves!
Welcome to the party. A really fun thing to be able to, to do as Imhotep is just bop around with hundreds of hundreds of mummies following you. is mine now. I think we can afford to raise a few more. gonna heal ourselves up here anyway. King. You fucker! O'Connell! What do you got for me? He's the son the American Rick O'Connell, and the wife Evie, she is often at the museum. But I believe you have already met these Americans, have you not, my lord? Ardeth Bay and the Medjay. Imhotep! Yo! You will die at my hands now, creature! No. As you should have perished at the hands of my Magi forefathers thousands of years ago! FOR THE PHARAOH! To your death. Hurry, my lord. You will never defeat the Magi unless you resurrect your own devoted soldiers. Do it, now!
we have the bracelet. Come, Lord, the quest is upon us. Though Rick is able to save Evie, Ardeth cannot hold back Imhotep. Having appeased the gods, and thus lifting the curse that has plagued him since he betrayed the Pharaoh, the mummy now moves freely toward his destiny. And with Alex in hand, Imhotep will now be able to locate the hidden oasis of Amshir, the resting place of the Scorpion King. On to Cairo, where Mila has arranged passage to Karnak, and a temple where Imhotep will soon be reunited with his eternal love, Anak Sunamun. I'm on a boat. Hello, Alex. I have the boy. We will go wait for the train to Karnak. It should come by nightfall. Careful. The parents, the Americans, they will be here, seeking the help of the Magi. I will stop them. By nightfall, the boy will be an orphan. By nightfall, Lord Imhotep, you must return to us at the station. You cannot miss the train to Karnak. We must continue our journey. I can simply travel I be by there. sand or name. Go! Mummy, eat a Magi. The Immotep one might be a shorter let's play for the sheer fact that I'm now better at the game. Oh, obviously in this the red turbans are our friends.
soul. Cat! What the fuck? What? Oh, it's a cat! Killed a cat because it was eating our it was eating our soul. One of those games. I think this is where we'll call it a video for now. Uh, this has been the first, our first episode of The Mummy Returns is in Hotep. I, um, I hope it's the same length as the, um, you know, try to keep it the same length as the Rick, as the Rick one. So, uh, till next time, ciao. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you like if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!